all right welcome back to the channel warhammer man back in the studio and today we're taking a look at what is to come maybe speculate just a little bit and uh, make sure that everybody is prepared for our new skirmish reveals coming on the 10th uh, so that being said if you're new to the channel make sure to like and subscribe for warhammer 40,000, kill team necromunda age of sigmar warcry and some horus heresy content daily videos reactions reviews news painting modeling conversion tutorials pretty much anything to do with the hobby uh, so that being said let's jump right in prepare for a rumble of reveals next weekend with the warhammer preview online summer skirmish so for me personally uh, when i hear the word rumble i think of vehicles uh, so we have our preview uh, summer skirmish online sunday the 10th of july 2 p.m bst uh, and uh, we'll show all those times in various areas in just a moment Welcome to a sensational summer for fans of skirmish games. Whether you enjoy small-scale special ops in the grim dark future or compact chaotic clashes in the weird and wonderful mortal realms, big reveals are on the way. So Warhammer Preview Online Summer Skirmish will be loaded with reveals for our skirmish games, so join us live by tuning in to Warhammer Twitch channel at 2 p.m. BST on Sunday, the 10th of July. So today is the 5th, so we're just a few days away. And in this reveal, we will still see some Kill Team, Warhammer Underworlds, Warhammer Warcry, Blood Bowl, and Necromunda as well. So we've seen some previews as to what is likely to come, or at least some hints, uh, but uh, still not a ton of information one way or the other. I will also be covering everything right here on the Warhammer community. If you can make it to the stream, can't make it to the stream, or just want to luxuriate in the awesome reveals at your own pace after the show. Uh, so they will put out like individual articles for uh, each of the games on Warhammer Community. Alright, so here's our preview. Summer Skirmish Online Time Zones. So you can obviously see here on the map which one applies to you. Uh, and then we have the actual times here. So London, UK time on the 10th. That is 2 p.m. Uh, LA, USA, Los Angeles, 6 o'clock a.m. Chicago, U.S., 8 a.m. Berlin, Germany, Germany, 3 p.m., Tokyo, Japan, 10 p.m., and Sydney, Australia, 11 p.m. All right, so uh, basically we know when it's coming. Uh, it's just a matter of what is coming now. So uh, let's uh, just kind of speculate just a little bit here. So we recently saw the Kill Team uh, expansion or next game is coming out very soon. Uh, we assume it's not going to be a new edition, obviously, as we're still filling out this edition and still waiting on a lot of bespoke teams uh, to, because we know the compendium is basically just a placeholder, and each of those teams will eventually get a bespoke team. Many of them have already, and so far, obviously, the bespoke teams have been better and replaced the original teams. Uh, so that being said, there's some talk about balancing the compendium and all that. And the truth is, they're just, they're not going to balance the compendium any further, in my opinion, than just like the broad kind of brush st stroke stuff that they're doing. Um, and the reason for that is because it's just a placeholder, so it doesn't need to be balanced. Uh, we just saw recently that they added an extra marine to like Death Watch and Grey Knights and just the regular uh, marines. I think that was a good change, and it helps to bring balance to those teams. But I don't think their goal is to make those teams like top tier teams. I think their goal is to make the bespoke teams for sure better because they're making them unique and have cool special abilities and rules and everything like that. So I would not get too excited for that. So that being said, and I know people are like, yeah, but the comp it, it doesn't matter. That's what Games Workshop is doing. They're not balancing the compendium with the rest of the teams. And that's why they're grouping all those compendium teams together. So what have we seen for the new kill team and what do we potentially expect? Well, they definitely had in their recent, you know, Kill Team Goes Dark preview, they didn't give us much information, but it sure looks like Space Hulk a lot. Now, I don't think that they're going to kill what they could make as a standalone game um, and just not make Kill, to Kill Team and Space Hulk two separate things. Obviously, Kill Team is doing well. Space Hulk will be a single standalone game. It's awesome. They've done multiple editions throughout the years. And I don't think that's what we're about to see. I don't think they're just going to turn Space Hulk into a part of Kill Team. That's just my opinion, though. There's definitely some throwbacks as far as, like, the actual 
you know, spaceship or space Hulk that it takes place on the preview. And then also like the cat was something from the old um, space Hulk as well. So traditionally, if I saw a space Hulk, I would think Terminators versus Gene Steelers. Uh, we don't have a bespoke Tyranid team, so it's possible there's an upgrade sprue coming for them. Uh, we have not seen Terminators. When you think about Terminators and Kill Team, it seems a little much, but realistically, they're pretty similar to Custodes. Uh, so if you can currently take a couple Custodes and a few Sisters of Silence, and that is you know theoretically like a balanced team or semi-balanced team, I think there's a possibility that we could see like two Terminators and then, you know, a bunch of Intercessors or Assault Intercessors or something like that. So there is a possibility for that. I don't think that that's what we're about to get, unfortunately. Um, it looks like I had speculated that it would be Elucidian Star Striders or something like that, maybe coming back. Uh, there has been some speculation as well. We see the base on the cat, the CAT, uh, little droid or little scout. And that base appears to match the Imperial Guard Kasserkins. So there is a possibility that we're going to see either a bespoke guard team. Or I don't think that's as likely. Just because we've already gotten vet guard. We already have the regular guard including the you know stormtroopers or scions. So it seems less likely that that's the route they would go. But realistically, I mean, the, anybody who's familiar with the, you know, lore or story is, is basically the Cadian Kasserkins are essentially their version of like the veterans or like the scions, like the special troops. So maybe we'll see a mixed team where you have something like seven Cadians and then five uh, Kasserkins uh, for a bespoke kill team that's a little closer to like the traditional um, that's definitely a possibility. And the bases match on the cat and the Kasserkin that we saw. I mean, like, they're literally from the same style of basing. So I don't think it was just a coincidence. Now, that being said, there's also other pop possibilities. We could potentially see something like an Inquisitor with, like, a retinue of bodyguards and some other, like, cool stuff. Uh, there's definitely some possibilities for some weird stuff. Maybe even a Rogue Trader. Uh, in a similar situation with like some, uh, you know, Caddy and Kasserkin, like kind of like, um, you know, guns for hire type thing or bodyguards for hire. I think that's definitely a possibility. As far as Warhammer Underworlds, I think everything we've seen so far has been revealed. So I don't really have much speculation on that. I'm not sure what's to come. I don't know necessarily like the order that the teams have been coming out. Uh, we have seen the most recent teams and we know they have corresponded pretty uh, pretty much with Warcry and Warcry's like new releases for like their uh, war bands. So maybe it will have something to do with either the most recent Warcry set or one to come. Um, the most recent Warcry set that we've seen so far has the Tarantulas Brood Lord or Brood. Uh, I can't remember what's called Tarantulas Brood. They're like the uh, Spider Cultists, and then the uh, you know Barbarians. So there's a good possibility we see sort of like a team like that come to Underworlds, uh, like we saw essentially for uh, the sisters recently. So again, that's just a speculation. We also saw some, you know, recent new, what, Skaven came to Underworlds. They were pretty cool. And we didn't see that in Warcry, so not sure. Uh, so next, on to, uh, let's go over to Blood Bowl. Again, I don't really know a lot about Blood Bowl. I don't really know what to expect there. I'm not sure what teams are missing. Um, we know they have brought back like some old models. And they were Chaos and Skaven recently. Um, the ones I saw at least. So maybe it has something to do with that. Uh, so the actual Warcry. Again we saw a little preview. Uh, we're not really sure what it is. They changed the logo. Uh, which a lot of people have speculated. Including myself. That that will mean it's a new edition. Uh, but it could very well just be a new setting. Uh, so they have talked about the setting a little bit. Uh, they have not spoken about specifically the terrain. Um, we have seen in that uh, setting regardless of if it's a new edition or just a new setting, uh, we have seen two new warbands shown off from them. So I think likely that's probably what we're getting for Warcry. And typically when we've seen two war cries coming out, uh, two warbands coming out at a time, it's because we're getting a new box game. So my speculation is that we see the two new warbands that were previewed and we get them in a new box game. 
hopefully with like some organic terrain like you know trees woods type stuff like that um, as we really need some stuff like that to kind of mix in uh, with the existing box sets of Warcry. I love the Warcry terrain so far love the Warcry game so far the warbands everything uh, but it would be nice to see GW do some kind of like organic like trees and and stuff coming out here soon so uh, hopefully it'll be something like that that is my speculation with the two new gangs and then for Necromunda we talked about it in the very beginning uh, they used the term uh, what was it rumble and obviously we have seen kind of like the floor plan for a Necromunda or like the map kind of going into the future uh, we just got the big box game we just got a bunch of extra terrain pieces and individual gangs from the big box game uh, we also saw obviously the expansion book with the squats in it we've previewed a um, squat like a mining suit I think it was called so what is coming next I think most likely we're gonna see more vehicles possibly another book to go along with it but I think we're definitely gonna see some more vehicles I expect that they're going to basically have at least one vehicle for every single faction. So I don't know who's going to be next. Uh, it seems like Escher typically gets things like first. Uh, Goliaths are also like kind of the staple of Necromunda. So possibly we see reveals for like Goliaths and Escher. I'm not really sure. It could be any gangs. They could do them in any order. I'm very excited to see what vehicles come out um, as I don't really love the way that they've done the recent Necromunda reveals. Um, I think the price of the box set really hurt the possibility or probability of getting a bunch of new players into the game. So it would be really cool if they released a sort of like start playing set for Necromunda. Kind of like what they did with Kill Team. Like an abbreviated version of the game. You know, just a couple small little gangs and a little bit of terrain and the rules. Just the bare minimum you need for like 100 bucks. I think that would be by far the best possible thing that could be done for Necromunda because it will encourage new players to get into the game. Because one of the problems with Necromunda is it's not all that popular and it's also expensive to get into the game because there is a ton of books, a ton of rules, and a ton of different stuff and not a good source of information for what stuff you even need. So in my opinion, you know, just a basic straight up starter set for like 100 bucks that has everything you need for two people to play would be the absolute best thing for Necromunda to grow the game and improve the hobby. Um, so that is my speculation. I could be completely wrong on all of these. Obviously, a couple of them we have a little trickle of info, and I'm just speculating my own. Um, and then some of them I'm completely speculating. So let me know what you think down below. Are you excited? And then obviously, make sure that you keep this map in mind. Make sure you know what time to tune in at. Uh, but regardless, uh, I will do some follow-up highlight videos, uh, reaction reviews myself. Uh, so if you enjoy those, make sure to like and subscribe. We do put out daily content, uh, reactions, reviews, painting, modeling, conversion tutorials. Make sure you check out the playlist. We're a commission studio, so we show off all the commissions as they go out. And, uh, of course, as always, really helps out the channel if you like and subscribe. Uh, if you're into any of this content, I would really appreciate it. And then, of course, love all the interactions, all the positivity, and, uh, you know, going back and forth with the community um, in, uh, you know, rational, fun conversations with people that enjoy the same hobby as I do. Uh, so that being said, going to wrap it up there. Warhammer Man Studios, I'm Warhammer Man, and I'm out of here.